Fertilization is the fusion of two gametes, a female egg and a male sperm, into a zygote, which thus begins the process of life. Today we are going to talk about a fertilization process that is a little bit different from what you might already know, because we are going to be talking about frogs. The male and female gametes, the sperm and the egg, fertilize outside of the female's body in the environment around them, unlike most organisms who fertilize inside of the female's uterus. Let's begin by taking a look at our aquatic scene. When a female frog appears, she will release her eggs in large clusters, and they will settle in a safe quarter where they will wait to be fertilized by a male. These eggs are protected by a jelly coat so that they will not be harmed by the environment around them. Next, the male frogs find the cluster of eggs and release their sperm into the water. The sperm will move through the water until they reach the eggs, where they will use special enzymes to break down the protective layer of jelly in order to fuse with the egg and begin the formation of a tadpole. Once this fusion has successfully occurred, a zygote, also known as a diploid cell with a full set of chromosomes, is ready to move on to the next stage of embryonic development. Now let's take a closer look at one specific fertilized zygote symbolized by a red cell with a blue nucleus. The zygote begins to go through the process of division called mitosis. This continuous process of division and cytokinesis creates a cluster of compact cells. As this keeps occurring, the cells begin to divide more often and rapidly, resulting in smaller and more numerous cells emerging into a compact ball of 16 cells, called the marula. A marula is a solid ball of cells resulting from the cell division, which later becomes the blastula as it secretes liquid and becomes a hollow sphere of the compact cells. It is also important to note that during this process, the cell does not grow at all. It remains its original size, but just becomes made out of many much smaller cells. By the next day of fertilization, the ball has thousands of cells compacted together tightly, which is called the blastula. This model does not show every individual cell, but it shows how the cells have formed a compact ball. This is shown by the circle of blue surrounding the mass of cells to signify that the cell mass has become hollow. Within the blastula, there is a fluid-filled space called the blastocele that starts to form, and this will then lead our cells into the process of gastrulation. Gastrulation begins by a process called invagination, in which the cells on the exterior of the blastula begin to bend inwards. Notice how the blue layer on the exterior of the cell has begun to form a pathway through the center of the compact cell mass. The site where the cells begin to bend inwards is called the blastopore. This process begins the formation of a central pathway down the center of the mass of cells, thus beginning the formation of the anus. Gradually, this opening will elongate until it runs from one side of the blastula to the other, and it creates the basis of the di digestive tract from the mouth to the anus. Frogs are known as deuterosomes because the first opening that the blastopore creates is the anus, and as it grows and becomes longer, the mouth will eventually be formed. Gastrulation is also a, a very important stage in embryonic development because it forms three different germ layers in the cell that each have a function, different function during development later on. The most internal layer, called the endoderm, shown by the dark blue Play-Doh, forms the lining of the gut and some of the other vital internal organs. The middle germ layer, called the mesoderm, made up of the turquoise blue Play-Doh, forms the skeletal and circulatory systems as well as other muscles. Lastly, the ectoderm, the most ex exterior layer, shown by the orange Play-Doh, forms the skin, nervous system, and the brain. After gastrulation is complete, our frog is ready to go through the rest of the fertilization process to become a tadpole. 